now we are going to see about the sphenoid bone sphenoid bone appears just like the bird as you know the bird is having the wings and the central part body but this sphenoid bird is having the two wings as you can see in this image the sphenoid bone is having the small wing known as the laser wing and the large wing known as the greater wing and the central part is known as the body now you can see in this image that in between the laser wing and the body of the sphenoid one canal is present which is known as the optic canal through which optic nerve and ophthalmic artery very important structures for the eyeball passes and between the laser wing and the greater wing there is the large opening is present and large elongated opening is known as fissure this fissure is situated on upper side of the orbit that's why this is known as superior orbital fissure means between the laser wing and the greater wing superior orbital fissure is present this is important and very most important fact the body of the sphenoid is depressed like the saddle what is the saddle you can see in this image that saddle is the instrument which is used for sitting purpose during the horse riding in sphenoid bone the body of sphenoid is depressed just like the saddle saddle is also known as the sella and this saddle was just like the saddle used in the turkish country that's why this is known as the tarsika so this body of sphenoid is also known as sella tarsika another word which is used in the recent ams exam that turkish saddle can you break the name yes turkish means tarsika turkish country and saddle means sela so turkish saddle mcq was that turkish saddle is the part of options were yes laser wing greater wing body none of the above so your answer is turkish saddle is the part of body of sphenoid and can you see this recent ams pattern is nothing it is not a new question it is a very old question sela tarsica why this question is again and again asked because this sela tarsica or turkish saddle is the home for the pituitary gland yes the hypophysis cerebri pituitary gland lies within this turkish saddle that's why this is important so these are the various parts of the sphenoid bone now we are going to see the important structure which are passing through the various foramina related with this sphenoid bone in this image what foramen we are looking and we are going to discuss one by one yes you can see laser wing of sphenoid greater wing and this central part is body okay can you see these are appearing just like the bird yes this is the small wing of the bird while this part is appearing the large wing like structure greater wing and this is the central part so you can do imagination this is appearing just like the bird okay so this is the sphenoid bone which foramina we are going to discuss can you see this is small foramina which is located between the laser wing and the body of the sphenoid that is the optic canal and one elongated opening is located here this is the superior orbital fissure and here are few other foramen like this is the one foramen known as the foramen rotundum this is the oval shaped foramen and here is the one very small one another foramen known as foramen spinosum so we are going to discuss this all the foramen and what are the other structures other foramen here which we are going to discuss see here this is the position of the pituitary gland and here is the foramen laserum which is situated at the apex of the petrous part of temporal bone okay so these are the various structure how can we remember these various foramen from midline to the lateral side yes we are enlarging the image can you see this is the position of the pituitary gland suppose the pituitary gland is king as you know the pituitary gland is the master of orchestra 
which controls the all the hormonic endocrinal activity of our body that is why this pituitary gland is considered as the king we are making one funny trick to remember the very important foramina asked in our PG entrance exam as well as first year MBBS as well as important for our clinical subjects and on each side of this pituitary gland here is a foramen lesaram yes suppose we are using the terminology of the Hindi saram yes this foramen is having the terminology of the sharam sharam means shy in nature who are having shy nature yes queens are having the shy nature so these foramen lesaram suppose these are queens because these are shy in nature le sharam okay and what the king does yes the pituitary gland is king while these are queens and the king gives rose to the queens so what are the structures here which can be considered as rose yes this foramen is the r foramen rotundum just posterior lateral to this there is a one oval shaped foramen this is the o foramen oval and just posterior lateral to this foramen there is the another a small foramen that is the foramen s foramen spinosum and as we know through the foramen spinosum various important structure passes one of them is emissary vein so what is our funny story interesting story yes king is situated at the center and the queens are on each side of the king means pituitary gland these queens are sharam yes foramen lay sharam and king is giving rose to the queens so what are the full form of that r o s e r for foramen rotundum o for oval foramen s for spinosum foramen and e is indicating the emissary vein so these structures are the most important fact for this cranial cavity frequently ask for the cranial nerves and various structure passing through this foramen okay one more information for you that on each side of the pituitary gland this space lodges the cavernous sinus and as we know through the cavernous sinus lateral wall 3 4 v1 and the v2 cranial now passes and from the inside direct content of the cavernous sinus internal carotid artery along with the six cranial nerve passes so we will discuss this structure one by one but here we are going to make down the notes okay